on the bigness of our God today. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Let's lift our hands. Father, we thank you for another opportunity to come together to release our faith in you through our praises. Father, we thank you for loving us, for rescuing us, for being there, Lord, for delivering us, healing us, protecting us, defending us. Father, we thank you. We declare today that you are our protector. You are our provider. You are the great physician. You're my physician. Hallelujah. And you are my defender. Praise God. How many can say that by faith today that God is your defender? I like the scripture right here in the Passion Translation. In verse 16, John chapter 3, verse 16. Most of you know this. It says, For this is how much God loved the world that he gave his one and only unique son as a gift. So now everyone who believes in him will never perish, but experience everlasting life. And I love verse 17. God did not send his son into the world to judge and to condemn the world, but to be its savior and to rescue it. Hallelujah. That right there is my quest in life also is to love people. Amen. Present them to having a personal relationship with the Father God. Amen. He's not there. He's not there pointing out all your faults and all your failures. He's not there to condemn you and kick you to the curb. He comes to rescue us. That's a good God. Amen. Amen. That's a good God. He looked down and he said, I want them as my family. He sent his son Jesus to rescue us. And how did he do that? First, he demonstrated God's love for you and I. He went about demonstrating the love of God. His power was released and people were set free. The dead were raised, blind eyes opened. So he was demonstrating the love of God. And he said, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. So he was showing people the love that God has for mankind. So how many know that he was demonstrating the very heart of God? And then we know he hung on the tree and... We call it liquid love. His love was poured out for you and I. Amen. Amen. Just poured out for you and I. And then God raised him from the dead. Now, here's what I tell people. When God looked down, he didn't say, well, go and just tell them how much I love them. And just tell them I accept them all in the conditions they're in. No, he sent them to say, your condition's killing you. Your situation's killing you. And I've come to set you free and appoint you in a different direction. Amen. That's the love of God. Amen. That's the love of God. That's the gospel. Amen. The gospel is he came to get us out of our messes. We were all in a mess. We're all in a mess without him. I don't care what's going on, what situation you're challenged with in life. We all need a Savior. We all need Jesus Christ. Amen. I was in the DL campus yesterday. How many of y'all been to the DL campus? The presence of God is strong in that house. Amen. I was there yesterday, and somebody told uh, a couple, couple people there that I was a pastor. I was sitting over there in a recliner, talking to a couple people, having my feet propped back, breaking, breaking uh, whatever, whatever they fixed me up. So give me something, half sugar. Give me half sugar. They started calling the Carlton drink. So you can go there and say, give me the Carlton drink. So this man looked at me and he says, oh, you're, the pa you're a pastor. I said, yes, sir. I said, are you? And he said, no. And uh, he said, but it's good to be here. So he walks over and then after I, I was getting ready to leave, I walked over to him and started talking to him. How's your drinks and all that? And I said, if they're not good, blame it on Bubby. That's my son Bubby back there. He, it. <laughs> he said, I want you to pray for me. Now here's a 76-year-old man from Arlington, that area, firefighter, did a lot of things in life and says, I want you to pray for me. He said, I'm dying of cancer. And I said, I'll do that. He had a doctor with him, a doctor uh, that was sitting there beside him and, and uh, she was traveling with him and talked to him for about an hour. I said, let me pray for you. I grabbed his hand and they didn't think I was going to pray for him right there, right then. But why pass up a good opportunity, amen? <laughs> so... So we prayed for him, releasing the love of God. The power of God was flowing. And, and uh, then I went to introduce him to Jesus Christ as his Savior. And 
and he wasn't ready to accept Jesus Christ. He said, Jesus is a good man. And I said, but he's not only a good man, he came to rescue us and save us. And I started sharing the gospel with him. He wasn't quite ready to accept it, but the seed was planted. Amen. The seed was planted. And uh, I just want you to keep him in your prayers today. I was praying for him after I left there. I said, Lord, I thank you that you sent Jesus to rescue Harry. That he'll not die without knowing you. Let's just pray right now. Father, I thank you. And Father, we ask you to remove the veil, remove the blinders off his eyes. And turn his heart. Let him, let him see his need for you as a Savior. Lord, I thank you. Maybe the seeds that I planted yesterday, they'll come to fruition. Maybe other seeds have been planted. But we ask you to come to fruition. Just, Holy Spirit, just stir his heart. Stir his heart. Don't let him die without knowing you. Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you for loving him yesterday and, Lord, showing him mercy. Lord, bring him to the place where I can introduce him to you and present you, you to him, Father. I thank you for that opportunity. And so, Father, I thank you that your love, your mercy is extended to him. And, Lord, don't let him die without knowing you. Father, we give you thanks. Send a labor across his path. Send somebody across his path that can minister to him, that his heart be open to receive. Lord, we give you praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. How many know that you can pray, blinders be removed, hearts and emotions be healed, hearts turned, and Lord, send labors across their path. How many know we do that? We're just believing that that is exactly what's going to happen. Amen. And I gave my card and I said, give me a call. If you need prayer, give me a call. So I'm believing they'll call me and we'll be able to finish what we started. Amen. amen. Praise God. Amen. So praise God. We're so excited about being here today. How many know that today is a very special day? What is today? Today's Sunday. Amen. We come together as a church to minister unto the Lord. It's something special about being in the house of the Lord. I look forward to this every week. Every week I look forward to this coming together, being with my brothers and sisters and family in the Lord and, and just uh, seeing your smiling faces. Amen. Praise God. Let's give the Lord another big shout of praise in here today. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Oh, you can do better than that. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Father. 